I guess um, in terms of art, making things, playing, that started for me uh, very young. It just came natural. And I had um, a very, very vibrant imagination, an imaginary world um, that I cultivated um, constantly and was supported uh, by my parents. My name is San Gauja. I'm an artist. I'm based in Brooklyn. My work is primarily theater, film, music. I work as a writer, director, actor, and uh, composition. With Fela, like with anything that puts me on television or film, there is the assumption that that means I have a lot of money. And yeah, I get that from my family back home. And obviously that's not always the case. I think anybody who has knowledge of the industry and the kind of rates that are paid in the industry would know that Doing fail or doing anything, it's like, depending on how long you do it, it's more like having a good job, you know, that pays decent wages. It's not like you don't become rich, you know? I mean, there are, like, you know, movie stars and musicians who I guess are rich, but I'm not. Being in London or Lagos, you know, and some guys coming like, hey, are you the man that play Fela? <laughs> <laughs> wait, no, no, Fela man be this. Hey, no, 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 wait, wait. Now, I can't, 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 can't see you. Now, you are the man that play Fela. Right, right, right. right. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Be Fela. Be Fela. <laughs> be Fela. No, wait. Come see now, Fela man be this. Be Fela. <laughs> so much. Left turn, right turn, about turn, double up, salute, open your heart, stand it is, fall in, fall out, fall down, get ready. In terms of the bands that I'm working with in New York, one of them is also Fela related. This one is called Fela Acoustic. This is a project to do something with Fela's music that was a little bit different. We started a project wherein um, there was just a voice and a guitar. One of them is called Chop and Quinch, which is the band for the Fela production. The band that toured all over the world and crisscrossed America twice. Mostly based in Brooklyn, but we play all over. I mean, we play all over the world, actually. I never really did anything other than art uh, since I was a kid. I have a a great passion and love for science, history, archaeology. At the end of the day, yes, I'm an artist. But what does that mean exactly? Um, I don't know how to qualify that. Outside of um, my professional vocation being as such, my degrees are as such. And fortunately, I enjoy doing it. And when I do it, people seem to enjoy it as well. At this point, I've been making art, making things for maybe 25 years. I don't really know about trying to do something else. Um, my father would have loved that. And I, I, I understand his point, obviously. The older you get, the more you realize, oh, really, your point was just like, get a job that actually, you know, you can kind of see where your bread and butter is coming from. But. Yeah, I'm not going to uh, try to do something else, become something else now. However, I do believe in diversification. It takes a lot of creativity and cleverness to make it work. And that goes for myself. Because New York is full of a lot of people that have very high profiles from many different parts of the world. I know a lot of people who have this challenge in this town. I like to diversify my, my work, you know, my, my input. 
a lot of times it's called hustling. I, I just try to use my skill sets to the to their fullest potential, um, the highest output. I mean, the bottom line is New York City is an expensive place to live. You know, it's, it's an expensive place to rent, and it's, it's an expensive place to operate. The trade-off is that um, the access that you are granted when you live in this city is unprecedented. Regardless of what you are doing, if it's music, theater, film, television, the head CEO of everybody is here. The stages are here. The creative minds are here. It's an expensive place to operate, but it's a very rewarding place to be. The challenges are just living day to day. If you go sit down, you want to have a dinner, you want to treat somebody to dinner, to have a discussion about something, you have to pay. If you want to move around the city after a certain time of night, depending on where you're going and how fast you have to get there, then you gotta buy taxes. Once your profile is at a certain height, the things that you can do for money begin to change. You can't just do anything because you need money, because that then affects how you're seen in the world and you know how you negotiate money for the future. I think New York is treating me pretty much how it treats everybody else. You know, New York thrives on energy, and so um, I do uh, put out a lot of energy, and as a result, uh, I see the results of what I can get out of New York. And it's been good, it's been very good. It's always with challenge. And um, I appreciate those challenges.